Chester Arnold, and I am from Humble, Texas. Grew up as a farmer, went in the Marine Corps, then went back to school and became a biomedical engineer for 38 years, almost 40. Then retired from that and started my own remodeling business, and I've retired since from that. I heard about Farm Rescue on YouTube where someone was in definite need and they were bringing in Farm Rescue to help out because the, the neighbors were trying but everybody was harvesting at the same time so they brought in Farm Rescue. And growing up, other farmers had needed assistance in our area. My grandfather fell off the tractor and got rolled up in the hay rake. Another farm the lady was in a hurry and she was forage harvesting and walked into the front of a forage harvester and lost her foot up to the ankle. So there's always a need because farm accidents are so violent. And uh, it's just something that God laid on my heart to help people. There's a lot of local need and, you know, farmers don't plant, we don't eat. People do what they can, but there's not a lot of help for farmers out there. And farmers are proud. I can do this, I can get this done. It's like the sign says, it's a hand up, not a hand out. So it's an opportunity to assist, provide assistance without it being welfare. It's us coming up here, doing things for people who can't do anything more than give you lunch or dinner, sometimes breakfast, but they can't do anything for me, but I can help them. That's like stopping and helping someone change a tire on the highway. Now what's the opposite of love? It's apathy. And this teaches us to not be apathetic towards people. I've been asked before in our church life group to tell about Farm Rescue. We call it Missions Sunday to show where they've been, what they do, and what the impact is for this kind of stuff. You know, you get the people who go to Mozambique, you get the people that go to Peru, you get the people that go to South America and Mexico and all that. There's not enough doing things to help people here in the U.S. What they don't understand is how much fun and how fulfilling it really is to do this. We get to play with toys and we get to help people all the time with a need. Because they need us, we're the hands and feet of God. I don't want to say it's pride, but it's, it's humbling to be able to do that. 